All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Living the Dream podcast. Today on the show, we're going through Proverbs 10, verse 14. Let's get it. The wise lay up knowledge, but the mouth of a fool brings ruin near. So the baseline interpretation of this is that foolish people talk more than wise people, even though wise people most likely know more. And so this is the baseline interpretation, because when I was reading a commentary on this, I was like, what does it mean for the wise to lay up knowledge? And it's not necessarily that they don't share knowledge. They're not like guarding it. Uh, Maybe a little bit of that, but more so the commentary was talking to the fact that wise people just know when to speak and when not to speak. Like when somebody is flailing emotionally, you don't seek to correct them in that moment. You seek to understand them because they don't feel safe. They feel in danger. And it's a common foolish thing that I'll do. I'll see somebody f- flailing emotionally. And I'm just like, your emotions are stupid. If we solve the problem, you won't be emotional anymore. So let's just solve the problem. But they're not in a space to be able to solve the problem. So you have to sit here. You have to calm them down emotionally by seeking to understand, asking more questions, listening well, making a safe space for them. And then you can start to solve the problem if they invite you to. And so wise people lay up knowledge. They have the knowledge to solve the problem. They have the knowledge to move forward, but they know when and when not to speak. Whereas foolish people brings ruin near. The mouth of a fool brings ruin near. For example, if somebody's emotional and I'm like, bro, it's not that deep. I am being a fool. (laughs) And because I'm being a fool, I've probably made their emotions worse. I probably felt, they probably feel less, um, less validated, right? I've taken some relational equity out of the bank account that I have with them. And so the entrepreneurial application for this is phase seven, taking daily action. And it might be a strange one, but it applies because there are often times when customers are going to be angry and you have to calm them down emotionally before you solve the problem. The problem is their emotions. Like there's not even a real problem. Like maybe they just got something late or it was a little broken and all they want to know is that you care. And so you show them that you care and they're like, oh, it's fine. That's not that big a deal. Just replace it for me. And you just replace it for them. And they give you a five-star review and that leads to more customers and they'll give you referrals for life, you know? So take the daily action, not of solving the problems. Well, of solving the problems, but of solving the correct problems. So don't solve the practical problems, solve the emotional problems, solve the identity problems, listen to people understand people, make them feel safe, take that daily action, the hard work of relationships every day in your entrepreneurial career, and then also focus on the strategy behind sales, marketing, customer fulfillment, customer success, and products market fit, all that stuff that entrepreneurs have to worry about. Worry about that. But take the daily action, doing the sales, doing the marketing, doing the listening, doing the understanding, doing the leadership, doing the customer success, all of it, across the board. Don't be foolish and bring ruin by talking too much, but take action. Sometimes that action is listening and understanding. And sometimes it's a lot of cold calls. And other times it's making your ad creative and ad copy. And then other times it's having tough conversations with your team because you're leading them. But all of these are focused around taking action and not just speaking to speak. When you speak, it needs to have power. That's what I'm getting at. And your words have power because of the action behind them. So where has this shown up in my life? Hunkering down and making moves before I tell people. Like I'm very much a, all right, let's go execute now. And I'm trying to get more in that. Whereas before I used to talk a lot about my dreams and goals. I'd be like, hey, this is how I'm going to do it. This is how I'm going to do it. Now I'm like, no, I'm actually going to do it, going to do it. And this is how I'm going to do it today. And I'm breaking it down to a daily action. Then at the minimum, I'm getting it very planned out before I tell people. Sometimes I'll go tell my wife. Sometimes I'll chat with my brother about it. I'll I'll, um, get ideas from people by telling them initially where I'm at. But I have a solid, this is where I'm at initially. This is why I think it'll work. This is where the problem is. This is where I've seen the problem. And this is how we're going about it now as opposed to, hey, this is what I think would be cool. It's like, no, make this a solid idea, right? So that's where it's shown up in my life, kind of hunkering down, entering execution mode, And even before I tell people my close circle, I'm very planned out and very meticulous about it. And so where do I want it to show up in my life? I want to know when not to speak and how to let things go. Oftentimes, I feel the need to correct people. I feel the need to kind of solve the issue. But man, 
solving the practical issue is very seldom the issue that needs to be solved because every issue is a human issue because the issue wouldn't exist if humans weren't here like nobody would be here to interpret it as an issue right and so because our mind our meaning making machines shout out alex formosi um we make issues where there aren't any so we need to solve issues where there aren't any which is interesting but that means you're solving human issues issues of the mind right and that's more less practical more emotional more understanding more more people oriented right <clears throat> so how can you guys apply this to your and you know sometimes solving those issues might just be surrounding yourselves with the right people so anyway but we're talking about taking daily action <laughs> not um building positive influences and cutting negative influences. So how can you guys apply this to your life? Know when not to speak, know when to let things go, talk less, ask more questions. Then simply don't offer solutions unless asked. Like so many times people jump into the conversation with their input because they want to feel important. Just cut cut all that out. And this is one of my because I'm not talking directly to you. I'm not trying to understand you. <laughs> I'm giving directives. <laughs> oh, this is maybe this is me being foolish. I don't know. But talk less, ask more questions. Then just don't offer solutions unless asked. I think that is so key because people will be like, you are a great conversationalist. I love your social skills. S simply by asking them to talk about themselves the whole time. And anytime you're like, ooh, I noticed you're doing this part of your business and this part of your business you didn't ask for my input but i think you should do this this and that Ooh, you're a little bit less of a great conversationalist now because people don't really care what you think they need to do unless they do and then they'll ask but if they don't ask don't tell hmm maybe i shouldn't have said that like that because i think that has bad connotations elsewhere but point being said <clears throat> just ask questions and then also move in silence and be effective. Like your words have power when your actions have power and people respect what you do and the results you create. And so they really want to listen to the words you have. And so be effective, move in silence and speak when you need to speak. And whenever you do speak, speak life into the situation. So a little recap here, talk less, ask more questions. Don't offer solutions unless asked Move in silence and be effective. When you do speak, speak life into the situation. That's what we got for you guys today on the show. Thank you so much for listening. We will see you on the next one. And on that note, we're out.